Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. So many people have asked me to show you just an everyday look and so here it is. These are the things that I find that I reach for every day. They must be my holy grail because I love them so much. So um, you're going to see those products in here and also the brushes that I use to apply them every day. So that's what this video is about. Without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so I've already got my skin washed and prepped. And I'm just gonna show you the products that I use quickly just to show you what I have on underneath because I know I have a couple of viewers who like to know always what I have on underneath my makeup that works with my makeup. First thing I put on is my vitamin C serum. I happen to be using this Paula's Choice Resist C15 C serum right now. Then I put two pumps of Olay Regenerist Micro Sculpting Serum. Then I put on a CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion. Then I put on my Clearasil. <laughs> really 51 and still getting pimples, but as you can see, I sure am. And so I just take this on a tiny, tiny, tiniest bit on a Q-tip and I just dab it on the actual pimple. And then the last thing I put on over the top is my SPF. It's the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Liquid Sunscreen in SPF 70. So I put a nice coating of that all over my face, uh, neck, chest, and backs of hands and then I'm ready to go. So I let that pretty much set up while I dry my hair, which as you can see, I have already done and now I'm ready for makeup. So the first thing that I do is my eyelid primer and the one that I use every single day is my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. And I put this on pretty much every day, either with my fingertips or with this flat brush from IT Cosmetics. Take a little bit on the brush and then I just pop it on my eyelid and I put this all the way from my lash line right up to my eyebrow and then in here I just kind of flick this back and forth because sometimes when I look in my 15x mirror later I'll notice that I have like kind of a line of it uh, so I just like to make sure that that is blended in really well right there I have a lot of freckling on my eyelids from sun damage and so this just covers that all up and gives me a nice palette to work with. Other eyelid primers I find leave my eyelids a little bit damp and sticky feeling and the reason I love this so much especially for the hooded eyes is that it dries really dry and really matte. If I have something sticky and damp feeling on my eyelid when the skin folds forward it makes it stick together making my hood look worse. So with this I find that it's not that it has any special action that it holds my hood up but it keeps it from sticking together and that is what I really love about it and that's why I use it every single day. All right so enough about the paint pot I could go on and on. Now I wait a little while for that to set up and while I'm doing that I do my under eye concealing which I don't really have dark dark circles or big eye bags uh, so what I find is that anything that I put out here on my wrinkles makes my skin stiffer and so it makes it so that the wrinkles are deeper and they show up more when I have concealer on out there so I tend to not wear concealer on the outsides of my uh, under eyes but I do use Armani Master Corrector and this is the orange shade on the inner corners where I just have a little bit of kind of bluish greenish and with this as with most concealers a little goes a long way so you just need a tiny amount and what's great about this is that it has this itsy bitsy little brush that I just love so you can just do the tiniest amount where you need it and not have it get all over the place so I just take this and I do one tiny dab there and one tiny dab there kind of along the shadowed side of my little eye bag tear trough thing and then I'm going to use this brush this is a crown brush that I got from Hot Look and this is the pointed concealer brush and I just take this and I just go in flicking motions from from the deep of the crease there towards my nose I don't really want to spread it this way because what I'm trying to do is just disguise that little bit of darkness there inside that furrow <laughs> And I do use Bye Bye Under Eye, but I don't use it for under my eyes. What I use it for is concealing my pimples. This is the combination Bye Bye Under Eye on one end and Hello Light on the other end. So I just take that and I just 
put one tiny dab on the back of my hand because with this again a little bit goes a long long way you really don't need a lot of this uh, that same brush the crown brush and I just dab it in ever so lightly it really works to conceal blemishes and redness and I have some broken capillaries up in here so I use it for that too so if I want to use this to really conceal a lot of the redness that I have going on I'll take a little bit more and then if I want to go like say all this redness here and get rid of it I'll just take this and swirl it around but the thing is you have to go in both directions so if you swirl it don't just paint it on like this because then it just glides over your pores and you end up with this polka dot look so but if you go in both directions you will fill in all your pores and then they won't look so big and noticeable so I just do that right here where I have this sort of hyperpigmentation right on the fronts of my cheeks and a lot of people write in and tell me I have rosacea I have talked to my dermatologist specifically about if it could be rosacea she says no it's not she took a look at it so anyway so there I am all concealed and ready for makeup now I let that set up for a while I like to do my eyeshadow first uh, just because that's the way I do it so moving on to the eyeshadow so today for the eyeshadow I'm going to use this Tarte palette it's the Be Magnificent palette this is limited edition so if you couldn't get it oh, I'm so sorry you couldn't get it I love it it's all matte it has six shades of eyeshadow a blush I mean eight shades of eyeshadow sorry four bigger ones softer colors and then the two dark ones at the bottom since this is like an everyday go to office look we aren't going to use any of the dark colors uh, just some of the lighter ones don't worry about if you didn't if you weren't able to get this palette there are other palettes out there that are similar I'm gonna start out with my it cosmetics no tug shadow brush I'm gonna start by using this kind of off-white color over here and I'm just gonna take my brush swirl it around in there tap it off can you see all that flying off there so that's why you need to tap it off and that's why I do my makeup second so that if I end up with any fallout I can brush it off and not have there be uh, dark circles under here from my eyeshadow so then I'm just going to take that and sweep it all over my eyelid especially in the inner corner because it's going to be give it a lot of nice lightness there and I'm going to do right up above my eyebrow and that is going to be the highlight color as well Oh, did I say above my eyebrow? I meant below my eyebrow. Uh, so that is also going to be our highlight color up there. And just a little bit in here. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit more to do the other eye. Inner corner. Okay. So the next brush is going to be also an IT Cosmetics No Tug brush. This is the crease brush. And this is a really big fluffy brush. You get, you know, a lot of product on there. So I'm going to use this second color on the top row this is like a warm kind of fawny color nice and light I just like to roll my brush in there so I get the color all the way around on all sides and then of course you could tap it off now I'm gonna start and I'm gonna do this in up and down strokes rather than a rainbow kind of motion because you know if your eyes are older like mine are that the crepier your skin is the more you try to drag it across in a rainbow motion the more you get that wrinkling skipping effect and you don't want that so I like to start where I'm gonna want it to be the highest which is right here right below the peak of my eyebrow okay so I want to start there a little circular motion and then pull it down into the crease so my actual crease let me zoom in nice and close the crease is the fold so my actual fold is there if you have hooded eyes you want to put your lightest shade so that it goes actually above that fold so what you're trying to do is fake the look of a bigger eyelid so you want your lighter color to go above that fold just a tiny bit so your eye so your actual lid looks a little bigger when you're blinking and moving your eyes and then all your darker shades are going to stay above that you're looking to find kind of the the bone of the socket okay so that the edge of that bone is where you want your darkness to to be so that you can define your eyelid and that's the thing with having hooded eyes is it's all about defining your eyelid and so you have to bring your darker shade up quite a bit higher I go almost all the way up to my eyebrow 
because what you want to do is kind of make that piece of skin that folds forward look like it's not folding forward. I'm going to use this Japanese crease brush and the darkest color we're going to use today is this one down here in the corner. This is kind of a taupey gray. All right. For an everyday office look, I don't want to do too much on the eyelid itself, so I'm just going to start down here and just put a little bit of that color at the outer edge of my eyelid. And I'm going to work it up, maintaining that line of lightness. And basically, you're just pressing it in. Not trying to do any blending, you're just applying the color. And again, you want to draw that imaginary line from the corner of your eye to the corner of your eyebrow, and don't let any of your makeup fall below there, because the more that you have stuff going on out here, the more it'll drag your eye down. I mean, if you have it going in an upward motion, that's fine, but you don't want it to be like a shape that comes down here like this. All right, so. Just pressing that in there. I turn my brush the way I want it to go, all right? So I want this to go up and into the crease, and then I turn it when I want to come across. So I just turn it and press it in. Okay, and that is it. It's the darkest color we're going to use today. And now to blend this out, I'm going to use, this is my favorite blending brush. This is from Sonia Kashuk. I get it at Target, $5.99. Uh, now I just take this and in just with just little circular motions, I just gently blend that out. And because this is all such soft, subtle colors, it shouldn't need a lot of blending, but you don't want there to be any hard lines or hard edges. So that is the eyeshadow. And now we'll move on to the eyeliner and mascara. So for a quick everyday look, I use this um, Wet n Wild eyeliner pencil in silver. It's a pretty silver sparkly one. I like it for doing the tight lining on my lower lid. And I like to be sure to get some in the inner corner, kind of by the tear duct, to brighten that up a little bit. And the other eyeliner I use almost every day is my Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes. This is in 21L, which is just a medium gray. I do just a little bit on the outer corner just to darken that up a bit. Just kind of the outer third. And I just drag that across. Just try to pop it on there with... I am so far away I can't really see what I'm doing. So forgive me if this is a bad line, but I'll fix it in my close-up mirror. Oh my gosh, and that is why I love this eyeliner and use it every day, even though I couldn't see what I was doing. Look at this beautiful line. All right, so I did a good job. Oh my gosh, first try and everything. Let me do the other eye. Who knows if this one will come out as good. But here's the thing, if you're older and trying to apply your makeup, always have your 15X mirror handy. I have to check over every inch of my face before I leave the house because, you know, you never know what's lurking somewhere that you don't know is there. And then the second you see somebody young, they're like, ew, what's that on your face? I'm like, oh gosh, what did I do? What did I not see this time? This is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. Uh, it's the newer one. So I'm not going to curl my lashes because this is the quick get you out the door look. So we'll just go ahead and put on mascara because really... I know, everyone tells you you have to curl your lashes every day. It's an extra step that takes a couple more minutes. I'm just going to put on the one coat now because I haven't done my face makeup yet. All right, so now we're done with the eyes, almost, and we'll move on to the face. So my go-to everyday foundation that I absolutely love is the IT Cosmetics Celebration Foundation. And I have it in 
medium beige. I apply it with the brush that if you buy it for the first time, this is the brush that comes with it. This is the dual ended concealer and foundation brush. So this is a terrific little brush. I start with the concealer end, I swirl it in the product, and I just take that and I do the details like around my nose where I already have the Bye Bye under eye on there, but I find that I have a kind of a hard time getting <laughs> the foundation to go in there. My nose folds are so deep right here on the sides. And then where I often have eyeglasses marks here, I just put a little bit on there as well. Okay, and then the rest I do with this end of the brush. I just swirl it right in there, okay, and then tap it off. I start in the middle, and I, again, like to go in both directions. So I'll swirl it out and then in. And then I'll just take the rest and move it around that general area where it needs to go. What I like about it is that it covers what I want to cover, but it doesn't completely mask my skin so that it don't look completely monochromatic, which I think is a problem with a lot of the full coverage foundations, is that you look so monochromatic and then you have to add in all these other colors to, you know, make it look more normal and like skin. I think this has a very nice skin-like finish. Um, so we just put a little bit down my neck, on my earlobes. And whatever's left on the brush, I just kind of go like that to even out my <laughs> under eye color because it tends to be very pale under there. All right, so that's it. Now I'm done with that. Was that easy? Now if I am going to put on a little uh, bronzer just to help make some cheekbones, I use this big Real Techniques blush brush and this Physician's Formula Organic Wear Bronzer. Now what I like about this one is it's not very orangey. It's very sheer. It doesn't give a lot of coverage, which I like about it. So if I'm going to do anything with it, I'll just do a little bit kind of back here to kind of define my cheekbones, a little bit under here to define my jawline. And if I want, I'll do a little bit up at my temples, just to round that edge of the hairline, just to kind of make that part of my face recede a little bit. All right, so that's that. And then uh, the blush that I've been using and loving almost, you know, every day is the NYX Blush in Peach. I know it doesn't look peach. It doesn't look peach to me either. The Crown Kabuki Fan Brush. All right. Yes, it is that big. It blocks out the sun. Look at that thing. So there's, is that right set up? And I got this on Hot Look as well. Wasn't expecting it to be this big, but I got to say, I like it now for the blush. So I just take it and I run the whole thing back and forth in it. So what I like about using this brush is that I can just kind of place it back here on my cheekbone and most of the color will get deposited here and then because this isn't really making contact with my skin I like to just go like you know kind of just rub this around back and forth and then I don't end up with too much on the front of my cheek you know they always tell you to put the blush on the apples of your cheeks and I don't have good cheek apples if you do go ahead and put it on the apples of your cheeks if you're more like me and my cheeks are more flat. My bone is pronounced up here. My cheeks are flat. And because I'm old, <laughs> er, I have the, um, the tear trough thing where now that is coming down and intersecting like halfway across my cheek. So if I put my blush up here, all it does is accentuate everything that's wrong with my cheek <laughs> and <laughs> make it look weird. So I like to start with my blush back here and just let some of it kind of fall from the brush up into the front. Then I like to blend it down into that uh, bronzer from back there. That's pretty much it. At this point I'd be done and ready to round out the door, except I was said that I was going to put on an extra coat of mascara, which uh, I'm going to do because this really doesn't give you a lot of length or volume. So you do kind of need with this one two or three coats, but the reason I use it every day and love it is that it does not come off. All right, so I just got to figure out what color lip to do with this, and then I'll come back and put that on, and then we'll be done. All right, so now for the lip on this, uh, what I go to for my lipstick daily is the Tarte Lip Surgeons. I love them. I have them in quite a number of colors. This is from the matte line. This is exposed. Now, the matte ones, I got to say, are weird. When you put them on, they <laughs> 
it's really hard to get them started but once they once you get them started they do feel nice and creamy going on uh, this one is like a perfect nude because it's not too brown for me it's got a little bit of pink in it and I like that So, but once you get it started, it really does feel nice and creamy, and they do feel very moisturizing. Now, if you don't like a matte lip like that, then I have this other one, which was from the limited edition Christmas set, and I don't know if you can still uh, find this one. This one is called Grateful, and it just has like a, this is from the shimmer ones. You can tell because the packaging, see how this is shimmery and this is matte? The matte ones are in matte packaging and the shimmery ones are in shimmer packaging. Very clever. So um, if I feel like this is a little too matte, sometimes I'll just put a little of this over the top. It just makes it, uh, you know. I don't like a high gloss anymore. I find that it reflects off my lip wrinkles at the top. I love these because they're more of a stain and they stay. I'm not into having to reapply every couple of hours. So that was my get ready with me everyday look tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching everybody and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.